First Abu Dhabi Bank withdraws its billion-dollar bid for Egypt's EFG Hermes, and Dubai's real estate market is booming. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Farah. First Abu Dhabi Bank has withdrawn its billion-dollar bid for Egypt's EFG Hermes Investment Bank, citing market volatility amid Russia's invasion of Ukraine. In a statement, FAB says it's withdrawing its non-binding offer after careful consideration and in the context of ongoing global market uncertainty and volatile macroeconomic conditions. The deal was valued at $1.2 billion at the time of offering. FAB's decision to pull its bid comes just a day after Abu Dhabi Wealth Fund ADQ said it would buy stakes in key Egyptian companies. Dubai's residential market has had its best ever start to the year, driven by high demand from local residents and increased inflows from foreign buyers. CBRE says Russians made 19,000 transactions in the first quarter of this year, the highest ever recorded in Q1. CBRE says in March alone, Dubai's residential market transactions reached 7,865, rising 83.4% from the year previous. Off-plan sales climbed by 94.6% percent, while secondary market sales increased by 76.1 percent. Downtown Dubai saw the most sales, followed by the Palm Jumeirah. Russian Finance Minister Anton Silvanov has confirmed he plans to attend next week's G20 meeting virtually. Silvanov will join other finance ministers and central bank governors. Indonesia is hosting the meeting in Washington on April 20th. Its finance ministry says Jakarta is considering whether to invite Ukraine to the meeting to discuss the impact of the war. Russia has sanctioned 398 members of the U.S. House of Representatives and 87 Canadian senators to retaliate sanctions by the U.S. and its allies. The Russian Foreign Ministry says taking into account the sanctions the U.S. is constantly introducing, further announcements of Russian countermeasures are planned in the near future. Moscow's tip-for-tap move follows the imposition of sanctions on 328 members of the Russian state Duma, or the lower house of parliament. The sanctions block all of their property held in the U.S. Big trading companies are reportedly planning to cut crude and fuel purchases from Russia's state-run oil firms as soon as May 15th to ensure they comply with EU sanctions. The increasing reluctance of refiners in Europe to protest Russian crude has already disrupted Russian exports, but purchases by Turkey and India have offset the slack in exports and sales to China also continue without any reduction. Let's take a look now at today's Forbes Real-Time Billionaires Ranking. It tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's richest people. Our biggest winner today is Elon Musk, up $8.5 billion with net wealth of $273.6 billion. Our second biggest winner today is Jeff Bezos, up $4.7 billion with net wealth of $181.3 billion. And our third place winner is Larry Page, up $1.6 billion with net wealth of $110.6 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. And speaking of Bezos, Amazon is imposing a fuel and inflation surcharge of 5% on online sellers who use its fulfillment services for product storage and deliveries effective April 28th. The surcharge will be applied to fees that merchants pay to store their products and have their products delivered to customers. Amazon says it tried to offset significant cost increases before imposing the latest surcharge. Amazon recently hired 750,000 employees and raised wages for Amazon warehouse employees from $15 to $18 an hour. I'm Rania Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.